welcome to Tasmania TV and this video is my collective haul for the month of July. I'm going to start off by showing my two new septum clickers. They're both from Barbarella, which is a Scandinavian online shop for piercing jewelry. The first one is the one that I'm wearing today. And the second one is kind of similar but a little more discreet and it looks like this. Now these kinds of clickers, at least what I found, um, are pretty difficult to come by in the 1.6 millimeter thickness. They're usually really narrow, they're either 1.2 or even thinner than that. And I like to keep my septum at 1.6 for now. I don't want to downsize it and I don't want to stretch it. So if I wear jewelry that's thinner than 1.6, I can only wear it for like a day before the hole itself starts to kind of contract. And I don't like that. I want to be able to wear the jewelry for more than a day at a time. For instance, when I did the post-apocalyptic photo shoot, I wore a golden septum clicker that I really, really love the look of. I can only find it in a one millimeter thickness. And even though I only wore it for a day, I didn't sleep with it in or anything, it was still like a little bit difficult when I switched back to larger jewelry after that. So it's kind of annoying, but Barbarella is the shit they have the good stuff. So both of these are 1.6 and they're both 10 millimeters in, I guess, diameter, which makes them a little bit big. So this one is kind of like a little loosey-goosey, <laughs> as you can tell, but I'm okay with that. Like It doesn't really bother me. I like the chunky big look. That's why I wanted these two, because they're big jewelry. So I'm okay with that. The only thing that's a little bit weird is like when you lie down, it kind of falls on your lip so you can feel the jewelry, but it's it's not that bad. I really absolutely love both of these. And I'm sorry, but I don't have my receipt in front of me, but I think I paid 110 Swedish krona each for these, which is not bad at all. Next up, I have some items from eBay, starting off with this little crop top with a skull pattern. If you guys saw my previous dress link haul, you saw that I bought a flared skirt in this exact pattern and I wanted the top to go with it but I didn't have it at dress link so I found it on eBay instead and I'm sorry but I'm sweaty as a fucking cow so I'm not gonna try this on today. If you want to see what it looks like on you're probably gonna be able to find it combined with the skirt in one of my upcoming lookbooks. I'm sorry I know you guys like me to try stuff on in these hauls but I just I can't be bothered today. But yeah that's what it looks like and it was ridiculously cheap. I think I paid like 20 Swedish krona or something like that for it. And it's sort of this bathing suit fabric that's in mo most of the clothes that I got from Dresslink before, so I'm sure it's made like in the same factory or whatever. And next up, you guys saw me use Robin Buff in a previous video and I totally fell in love with that stuff. It's for crafting and it is a buffering wax, like a metallic buffering wax that you use to give a metallic finish to some products. And I had it in gold and I also had to get it in silver. And I got it in the silver that's called Silver Leaf which is like a cold blue tone silver. I haven't used it on anything yet, but I can't wait to try it on some stuff. And I think I paid, like with shipping, maybe 120 Swedish krona or something like that. But this lasts a really, really long time because you only need like a tiny little blob to get a lot of effect. So it's gonna last me a long time. Love that stuff. And then next up, I have a bag of golden studs. You guys know that I've been trying to get more and more into steampunk which if you're traditional means more golden tones. So I thought I'd get some golden studs or spikes. And again, these were from eBay and I have this bad habit of as soon as I have received an item and given the seller a feedback, I just remove them because I buy a ton of shit from eBay and I don't want to have like the longest list of items. So I never remember the prices and all the other information. I like, I never remember the, the seller. So these were not expensive. I'm pretty sure I paid like, like 20 Swedish quarter or something. And I don't know how many's in here, but it might be like 50 or something like that. So I'm going to use that for some crafting. While we're on the subject of steampunk, I also got a new set of goggles that have a sort of traditional old gold rendering, but they arrived with one of the goggle glasses broken. The glass is shattered and it's really annoying, but thankfully there are two layers of glass in these goggles, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to remove the broken pieces that are still on here 
and then still use them but only with one layer of glass. I have no idea. If I can't, then I'll probably end up just putting something over here and like wear them anyway because they're only head accessories. I'm not supposed to be able to look through them, but I don't want pieces of broken glass in them, so that's too bad. But I think they were shipped from China, so you know, shit happens and it's not the seller's fault that things happen on their way like during the shipment on their way to me. So I'm not mad, I still gave them like a high grade and everything. And I only paid 20, like 20 Swedish krona for these as well. So they're really cheap. So the next time I get dreads, I'm gonna be able to wear these in my hair again. Hopefully without getting like, glass all over my hair. I think those were all the things I have from eBay. There might be more stuff coming up. Usually there are things on order that I haven't gotten yet, but let's continue on with the rest of the haul. For the final part of this month's haul, I have some random bits and bobs. First off, I have two more things from eBay, and they're both crafting things. First is a little bag of, I suppose they're buttons, but I'll probably end up using them uh, by gluing them on stuff, so let me zoom in. So they look like this. I think there's supposed to be 50 of them in here, and I thought they would work as cool, like, accessories for upcoming steampunk DIYs. And the second bag is a bag of stars, like the kind of studded stars that you just attach to jackets or boots or whatever you want. And these are the same kind of color or the same kind of metallic as these guys. This time I've kept the eBay information on my phone. I usually always delete that so I can actually tell you guys the information. So these are bronze keynote pendants and I paid 19.78, so like 20 Swedish krona for this, which is really cheap. Sorry for these, the, the little wheel thingies that I showed you first. And then these stars, they're a hundred pieces of pentagram triangle punk rock DIY rivets or spike studs. And I paid 20 Swedish krona for those as well. So gotta love eBay for this kind of stuff. Next up, I have something that I got at a bookstore and it looks like this. It's meant as a folder, as you can probably tell, but I thought that it'd be cool to use this as either a makeup bag or as an accessories bag. Because it's completely flat, I thought it'd be perfect to use for either makeup, like I said, or accessories for packing. Like when, whenever I'm traveling, my makeup bag is always huge and I always bring a shitload of accessories and they're like big and round, so I thought it'd be kind of clever to flatten them out in this thing. I paid 65 Swedish krona for this. So I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's gonna work well, and if it doesn't work for makeup, I'll just use it as a folder. <laughs> then I went to a car boot sale, you know when people sell like their secondhand stuff out of the boot of their cars, and I got three items. First off, I got two scarves. Got this dark gray one, and I love the, this kind of scarf. It's even folded into a triangle, and it's like very nice and neat. So the dark, really really dark gray with black patterns and then I got a white and black one so again that you can just fold into a triangle and both me and Mr. Tess use these all the time they're amazing scarves like all year round and I paid 10 Swedish krona each for these two and then I also found a bolero now this is uh, in a kid's size so it was originally from Kappa which is a Swedish clothing chain and yeah, it was from the kids department because it's a size 158, which is a kid size, but it's like a small basically. And it is a black knitted bolero. Very basic and it has, I don't know if the camera's picking this up at all, but the fabric has a little bit of a glitter or a sparkle in them. And since it is a little bit thicker, I just kind of like that. And you guys know I love boleros. I thought it'd be nice and I paid 20, I think, Swedish Krona for this from the car boot sale. So, yep, yeah, it's nice and warm because it is knitted and long sleeves, I really like that, so. And then the final item I'm going to show you in this video is a bag of stuff that I'm going to be using for an upcoming DIY video for you guys that I'm pretty excited about and I hope you are as well, or you will be at least. Pride is coming up, Stockholm Pride, so celebrating gay, lesbian, tri, bisexual, and everybody's right to love and be with whoever they want, which is awesome. I love celebrating that stuff. And I'm gonna go to a fetish party during Pride and I wanted something a bit colorful to wear to that. Like all of my latex dresses are black so far, so I wanted to add something with color. So my plan is to make a body harness out of this. And 
I bought five meters of red elastic band and it's a little thicker than I would have wanted but they only had two thicknesses and it was this one or one that was really really narrow and that's too narrow for me so I would have loved something that was maybe two-thirds of this but on the other hand it could be kind of cool to have it thick so hopefully this will work if you never see that tutorial on this channel the reason for that is probably because it didn't end up working the way I wanted it to but let's hope that it does and I haven't really decided the shape that I'm gonna do yet for my body harness so I got a bunch of these metal things so I got two o-rings and then I got a bunch of these like d-rings so yeah I got eight of these little d-rings they were 12 Swedish krona each these were 27 each super expensive always so annoying and the elastic band was 30 Swedish krona per meter and I got five meters so for all of those things I paid 300 Swedish krona that is it for this month's haul I hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you have any questions post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye